Hello sir, I am Rebecca from HW News Mumbai and so today I would like to interview asking you some few questions about uh, this um, elections relating and uh, so we have some issues in here uh, in this region and so for the first question there has been uh, a strong opposition to the citizenship bill vote by NDA government so what is your view on that? Citizenship amendment bill basically is uh, a move, an election agenda made by the BJP to rule the voters of um, majority Hindus in India. So for Mizoram, we are concerned with the Buddhist, Chakma Buddhists from Bangladesh coming into Mizoram. And if you really implement the in letter and spirit of the, the, the CAB, bill, I don't think uh, we have anything to worry about it because uh, in that bill, it has been clearly stated that uh, in order to entertain them for their citizenship, uh, they have to produce what you call a, a foolproof documentary, you know, evidence that they have been persecuted in their own land, say for example Bangladesh, by the Muslim majority. So I don't think Jamaa Buddhists will be able to produce. So uh, and for, for Mizoram, I find it is really a non-issue for this election. Okay, for the next question, what are the issues that, since you are an independent candidate, so uh, what are the issues that we will, we will be focusing on this time? My main issue is that since um, the state and the central financial relationship has been changed after the introduction of the two year, the importance of a single MP has been increased manifold. So I have been telling the people that we'll be having a very dedicated MP in the form of me. So for MP, you know, the election of MP has been very dull in Mizoram so far. So this time I was trying to raise the tempo among the voters and then try to uh, give a kind of what we call um, political awareness about, about MP, the role and duties of MP. So my main idea is that uh, MP is such an important post since we have only one MP. So I've been trying my best to, you know, educate the people. Please go and vote for MP because it's very important. We have only one MP, and the role of MP after Niti year is such an important post that it should take it very seriously. So I don't know what, what type of impact I've been able to make, but I think the response is quite good. Okay, for the third question, uh, like um, the food refugee crisis has been a major issue in this state. So what is your stand on this issue? Brew, brew. Tribals are basically the ones that have been staying in the fringe boundary bordering to Tripura and Bangladesh. And they have been, you know, like uh, showing that they have been running away of Mizoram because of fear of uh, atrocities and then persecution by the majority Mizoram. But it was a long time back, something more than 25 years back or so. The thing I find about is that Boos are not really afraid of coming back to Mizoram. They are really, you know, in, in wanting to have an autonomous district council like the Chakmas. So now, we, the government of Mizoram and the NGO in general, we are quite aware of what is their motive. They are not really interested, they are not really afraid of coming back, they are interested in creating another uh, autonomous district council, which of course we are opposing it. So even after the atmosphere is very good for them to come back, if they refuse to come back, I personally feel that let them stay back in Tipura. And Tipura being also a part of India, so we're not pushing them out of India. So they're, they're still becoming a citizen of India. So if they want to stay in Tipur, let them stay. Why, why bother, why entertain them to, to vote, to, to cast their votes, you know, for assembly elections and MP elections when they have no, no interest about the welfare of the state of Mizoram. So my personal opinion is that it should be solved very immediately. Yes or no, plain fact. If they want to come back, let them come back. Stay in their original place of uh, village, the original villages. If they don't want to come back, let them stay in Tipur. Simple as that. Okay, so um, since you are an, an independent candidate and with no uh, political party support, and but still you are the most outstanding person among the candidates, so uh, what is your expectation about this um, election? Do you have um, do you have uh, any chance to win this election? Well, I, I tell you example of the fact that this is a test of the Mizo voters, whether they are really after the political party alone or they want to go for a good candidate. I have projected myself as an able you know, candidate to be the representative in the parliament. But uh, so far the political party, the bosses have been very cruel, very unjustifiable in the fact that they tried the you know, the common people, the villagers, the grassroots level to be sticking to the party. But at the same time, the party leaders are not sticking to the party because they are 
selecting candidates outside their party. So in this time around, as an independent candidate, I cannot have any expectation. I cannot tell whether I'll be winning or not. I'm just fighting as a good fighter. I'm when I'm on the ground on the play field, I fight like I fight like a bull, and outside out of the field, I'm an ordinary man. So this time, let us see on 23rd May uh, whether the major people really want to have a change or not. If not, also I continue to fight as an individual. And backing of the political party, yes, I give you an example. Last in the last assembly election. In the constituency of Serchi, my hometown constituency, the two big players, the Chief Minister of Mizoram, who was Congress Party President, and my elder brother, who is a candidate, continuous candidate from uh, MNF, the two big parties, they were fighting that, you know, Serchi constituency, banking on the party base. But Lalu Omar was not having a proper base in Serchi. So somehow the people of Serchi constituency, voters of constituency, the constituency, have decided to vote for Lalu Omar. So, Mlando must become the winner in that, you know, assembly election. So, in the same line, let us see how much, like, uh, the Mizo voters want to have a change in the, you know, in the political setup. And I'm just banking on, on them, not on the part, political party. I'm banking, banking on the goodwill of the Mizo voters. And I cannot say for sure whether I'll be winning or not, but uh, let's wait for Tunit Hatmi. I'm all for it. I'm, I'm fine both ways. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.